Gray and Rising. Happy Friday. I'm out in the warm sun, getting sun rays on my skin, breathing fresh air, absorbing all the positive energy from my uh, dragon fruit trees, plants, I should say. I shouldn't say trees because they're plants. And my assorted fruit trees in my side garden in the burbs of Houston, Texas. Man, it's it's just beautiful out here. And people, plants do give out positive energy and vibe. It's it's very powerful. Plants are living living things that produce food, oxygen, and energy. And believe it or not, I've learned also that certain plants like feed off feed off each other when you plant them in groups like these dragon fruit plants are thriving together they thrive together better as a group believe it or not because they can build the energy of each other and they grow better isn't that amazing plants can communicate it's been proven but i'm going to go around here And again, I just love these AirPods, people. I can't get over these AirPods. And I want to talk about real quick here how, believe it or not, people, you can grow fruit trees in pots. You don't have to put fruit trees in the ground. It's been proven over and over again many centuries and the uh, Chinese proved that they were the first ones to actually prove that you can grow trees in pots with the art of bonsai, that they, they created the art of bonsai. So they proved that already. So, and if you're going to be getting a future homestead, I would advise you not to put your fruit trees in the ground. Because you have to dig them back up again. <laughs> You're just making more work for yourself. So to avoid that, just plant your fruit trees in pots. Like I have in these air pots. And they're growing well and they're fruiting. And as your fruit trees get bigger, you can put them in bigger air pots. These are just 14 gallon air pots. And they have air pots up to 25 gallons and even bigger from what I understand. So your fruit trees can live their whole lives, believe it or not, in air pots. If you don't want to put them in the ground, you don't have to. It's been proven over and over again and it's good to try different new techniques when growing food. You know, you know, get outside your comfort zone and experiment with new techniques of growing food. You know, so, and that's what I'm doing. I've always done that. So, I mean, look at the size of these peaches. They're getting huge. The growth rate in these air pots is amazing. So you don't have to put plant your fruit trees in the ground. You can plant them in large pots or air pots and they will do perfectly fine and they will fruit. And you can grow more fruit trees in a smaller space, especially if you're in urban areas. So don't believe the hype that you have to put everything in the ground because you don't people you don't this sun feels so good i mean it feels it's good to get out in the sun and absorb the vitamin d your skin your body needs vitamin d so i'm just admiring the peaches on this tree one of the tricks of growing 
trees and pots is to keep them pruned. You want to prune them, keep them pruned at about seven to eight feet. You don't want them to get any higher than seven to eight feet. And they'll grow just as fine in pots for their whole lives, believe it or not. You know, there's some trees that you probably can't grow in pots, but you might be able to grow in pots, like, you know, pecan trees or so forth. But has anybody ever tried growing a pecan tree in a very, very large pot? I bet you could. I bet you could if you tried. So don't get caught up into doing what everybody else is doing in the norm. If you have an idea when it comes to growing food, a new idea, try it, experiment. So until next time.